All right, is, is this on? Can everybody hear me? Thank you, Dr. Ross. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I have to apologize. I came down with the case of the sniffles this weekend. But uh, we're going to get going with this anyway. And uh, let's see, what do we have here? Pathology of skits. Very important to consider. Can anyone tell me what this means? Anyone know what this means? No, nobody? Uh, something to do with uh, the dead helping the living. Very important when you're considering any sort of disease process. We can learn a lot from uh, the skits and whatnot that have gone before. And so today we're going to start off with talking about diseases of cameras for a bit. Uh, when you're doing a camera necropsy, you have to be remember to be very thorough. You have to go through all the different systems of the camera. Uh, here we had a particularly painful trauma case. <laughs> Uh, you're seeing from the camera's perspective, uh, I think this was at a baseball game, I think, a few years ago. Uh, can anyone give me a morphological diagnosis for this camera? Anyone? Anyone at all? Severe focal crack direct. <laughs> now, a lot of people would think this is severe. I would call it more of a moderate lesion. <laughs> uh, now this one, this is a severe lesion. You don't want to see this on your camera. Uh, there's a broken screen. There's no recovering from that kind of damage. Here we've got a, a mass outbreak of the lesion. This was a terror, let me tell you. My gosh. And then, once we went out into the field to respond to this, we found these lying all over the place. It was an abortion store. <laughs> Now we're seeing a lot more of these as technology develops. Uh, you didn't get very much of this a few years ago, but nowadays they're popping up all over the place. They're just stuck, that one screen, the entire time. I think research is still figuring out how exactly we're going to deal with that. Uh, anyone know what happened to this camera? Any guesses? This was a hit by car. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, oh, I used to see these all the time. <laughs> it's since been eradicated, though. I could do hours of lecture on this kind of material, but I should just take it out now, I guess. <laughs> now, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have problems like this, dead batteries. You have to consider the system as a whole. If you don't check your battery before you start your necropsy, you might run into some trouble. You could get sued for that sort of thing. <laughs> Here's a case by drowning. This is one of your number one causes of death in cameras. <laughs> Here, who's seen sand and paction in horses? <laughs> Here we've got sand and paction in cameras. It's the same disease, different species, folks. You have to think across lines. <laughs> this is a case of really bad malignant hyperthermia. <laughs> One second it's fine, and then it goes into sleep mode, and all of a sudden, poof, up in flames. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that either. Here's a, some severe mineralization of this camera. Uh, I don't think there's really any coming back from this one either. That's a pretty bad disease there. Uh, but, you know, you can't always consider the cameras themselves. You have to consider the environment that the camera came from. Here we've got a rainstorm. That's a pretty big bummer if you're trying to film a skit outside. <laughs> Run into all sorts of problems with that. Rusting. Uh, I mean, you can't even shoot if it's raining too hard. Can't get any decent footage. Uh, what do we have here? This was a field necropsy I did a few months ago. <laughs> This camera was struck by lightning. <laughs> all right, uh, so before I let you all go, I've got a treat for you. How do these lights work? Uh, there we go, all right. So we're going to do an actual necropsy here in front of everyone just for you. I've got a camera here, died a couple weeks ago. This was also a drowning. <laughs> I don't
I don't suppose Steve Fernandez is in the audience. No, I can see around. This used to be his camera. He's our client. So I don't think he can show up tonight. So when you're doing a knee crop, you want to start out by removing the easily removed part. Start off with taking off the case. You want to take out the battery. And then you really just have to take your tools and go for it. And go for it. Uh, you know, they're making these things a lot sturdier than they used to. Use the ground. Use the ground. You know, it's just not coming apart. I thought, oh, here we got a little crack here. Uh, you really gotta get your hands dirty sometimes. Don't be afraid to dig right in there. Alright, so here we've got our main motherboard, and the lens is pretty much cracked up right now, but that's okay. We don't really care about those anyway. And, uh, yeah, you're just gonna take out and inspect every individual part, and try to see what you can find. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna take some of these and submit them to Histology to see what we can find out later. But uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight and being such a great audience and enjoy the skits.